<laughs> just like take, take a gander at what's behind us. <laughs> We're in, we're in the thick of it. We are deep into it and it is, how's it going? It's harder than I thought. <laughs> tell, tell us, give us a rundown. You're more it's involved just, in yeah, the day to day. A lot of thinking going on, a lot of worrying, a lot of stressing, but. Game time decisions. I think the thing that doing a remodel and living through it is, it's an exercise in just letting go and not worrying. <laughs> Because that's where I'm at right now. We're good. We're thriving. Yeah. Really? <laughs> so, okay, so here's the deal. Just a note. That's our garage. That <laughs> looks like a, uh, that looks like a Four Seasons compared to our living room. <laughs> okay, so here's the deal. We started the renovation just after Labor Day. We have probably two and a half more months to go. Um, we, we just finished week three and we have nine more. Nine to 10 weeks left. Ish. Hopefully we're done before the holidays. Um, we have moved- How crazy is that holidays are in like 10 weeks? God, I can't wait. I can't <laughs> wait for 2020 to be over. Um, okay, so here's the deal. We moved all of our stuff into two rooms in our house and our team, our, co our general contractor team, built all these fake walls that and like- doors. Floor to ceiling, no air is getting in, no dust is getting in, so we can be as safe as possible, especially me because I'm pregnant now. Um, we have like a little studio area. Yeah, we're just living, we're basically back in college. Yeah. Minus the like twin beds. Yeah. But it's great. We're, we're hanging in there. Thomas is making all sorts of incredible decisions every day, and we're rolling. Okay, so... I feel like we need to introduce every, all the cast yeah, of characters. Who's the, who's the team? Cast of characters. So let's start with the designers. Right, so we hired Taya home. It's a mother-daughter team. We love them. Thomas has totally jived with Taya, the mom. Dorian and I see eye to eye on so many different things, but they're super talented, get our style. We love their style and they've been with us for the last couple months. And what's really cool about that is Dorian does like a lot of the more like designy things. And I would say Taya does a lot more spatial stuff. So like different than just a designer per se, Taya looked at the house and like wanted to move a couple things around just so there are more things in line with one another, which I wouldn't have even seen. They're incredible. They're here in LA and they're very pretty. And they like white windows. Oh yeah. I lost that battle. Thomas it lost three the battle. On Sorry. So for everyone that was team black windows, I tried. Okay. And so then we're working with Lions Development and our good friend Matt for the general contractor work. But yeah. His team's been great. Um, Clay is one of the guys that's doing the day to day yep. things and is on site every day. And then We've just got a whole cast and crew of uh, subcontractors I mean, coming through like every day. So every Friday I put snacks out for the team. Banana bread, cookies. What else have we done? That's it. Oh. It's only been three weeks. So. Yeah, there, I need to step, maybe. Oh no, pizza. Yeah, we did pizza I the did first pizza. time. I did pizza. We gotta keep everyone well fed so they're happy. Yeah. All right, so since I've been kind of in the mix day to day, we're gonna start with just like the foundational elements. Okay. So let's talk slabs and stone because that's literally the first oh, thing that we did. God, that feels like months ago that yeah. we did that. So we went with our designers to pick out slabs. We did figure out what we liked. We, we figured out some... what we liked. We also figured out that Thomas has a very different taste than I do. <laughs> I thought that like black veiny stones would be rad. You also picked out some like green and blue slabs that for, for sure pieces. my grandmother had on a bar. But they were like <laughs> accent pieces that would have made a really cool like statement yeah. in the house. So anyways we picked out slabs. We have a sl we have slabs for the kitchen. We picked out two types yeah. Yeah we have sl slabs for the kitchen counters and slabs for the bathroom Thank counters. you. Thank you. Yeah that's it. Yeah. And they're sick. They're gonna be really cool. Do you want to describe them or do you want to reveal later? I'll sh let's show everyone later what they look like. All right. Well, we need a grand Here's reveal. Here's an experience though of what slab yards are like. Yeah. 
so we've got our kitchen counters covered. And we have the cabinets. We're having our, I'll share our cabinet maker with you guys later. He is just like this independent dude. I'm obsessed with him. I How got did you him find out about him? From Matt and Adam. I'll give yeah. you his information later. Um, if you need cabinets in Southern California, he is top notch. Awesome. And what about the question that everyone has been asking? What? What appliances are we going with? Sub-Zero Wolf and Cove, and I'm so excited. Why? I can't even wait, you guys. Why Why Sub-Zero Wolf and Cove? Well, many reasons, but like one, you know I know them, right? No. I went, remember that trip I did two years ago? I went up to their like factory. Briefly. I learned. Or vaguely. Yeah. <laughs> Briefly. Um, so, I spent like a week with them a couple years ago up in Madison. We walked through the warehouse. We like worked together a long time ago. Um, and their attention to detail and the precision and the testing and everything that goes into their products is like next level amazing. On top of that though, when I was a private chef for the beginning part of my career, every one of my clients had a Sub-Zero fridge, a Wolf stove. Cove is new, like Cove didn't even exist when I was working with them two what years is ago. Cove? Cove is their dishwasher and it is phenomenal and so much faster than what we currently have. Um, well, I guess we actually don't have a dishwasher period right now, but what we did have. You wanna see our dishwasher? <laughs> That's a lie. That is not true. Chlorine kills everything. <laughs> we're not washing our dishes in the pool. But anyways, we're doing a wolf range, a sub-zero fridge that's custom um, paneled. paneled. And then... Not a custom fridge, it's just a paneled fridge. Right, so it'll blend in with our cabinets. And then we have two dishwashers, two dishwashers, which is like such... That's the thing I think you're most excited about. I think about. so too, because when you develop recipes or you're writing a cookbook or recipe testing or shooting. Throwing a party in shooting, Yeah, like there's so many dishes that come out of my kitchen on a daily basis anyways. I think that's actually what I'm most excited about. And two wine fridges. Yeah, you tell everyone what you got, honey. I, so in the bar area, I got two wine fridges. Like I can finally properly store my wine. We've got one of those refrigerator drawers, which is gonna be our new beverage fridge. So it'll basically just be like the Topo Chico fridge. <laughs> and then an ice maker, which makes clear ice. Does it really? Yeah. Oh, sick. I'm super pumped about that. Wow. Yeah. So, okay, we're doing Sub-Zero Wolf. And Cove. And Cove. What's the showroom like? Cause we got, a, we got, we did, we got some VIP. Well, it's actually not VIP. No, it's not VIP at Everybody all. Everybody gets the yeah. same service. We, we got, we went to their, uh, we went down to, um, South Coast Plaza to their showroom, which was incredible. So when you walk in, you are like automatic and they have these all over the country, by the way. Um, you walk in and they're just different vignettes of different kitchens and bars and cooking areas. And so you can see everything. And it's super rad because no one that works there is actually in sales. So like you never feel like you're being pushed. When you in. go there, they're providing information. They're not trying to make a sale. Yeah, that's just not how it works there. So it's such a pleasurable experience. I mean, we went fully masked up. We got to see all the stoves in action. Not that I hadn't cooked on them the, before. Open the stoves, get a twist see the knobs, the open the fridge, check it out. Like see it in person and yeah. like really get a feel for it to know if like this will work in your kitchen. You don't. You were in Madison, but I remember. I remember so vividly when I was at their showroom there. I sat down in front of one of their like 48 or 60 inch ranges and took a selfie in front of it with those like sexy red knobs. Yeah. And I remember posting it, I think on Facebook or Twitter or something at the time and being like, one day I'll be able to have one of these. Okay, so I've been trying to press Gabi into doing a weekly recap and like taking us through the, through the house, but she wants to do a giant unveiling. Well, so yeah. No, we'll do recaps, but like I just think people will get sick of seeing it weekly. Yeah, so we'll wait to show you the current progress. Actually, you know, we'll leave you with a little sample. See you next time. And enjoy this clip. <laughs>